the genetics of the Ehlers-Danlos syndromes and hypermobility spectrum disorders. The main types of inheritance are what we call autosomal dominant and autosomal recessive inheritance. For autosomal dominant conditions, we need only a single copy of a pathogenic or disease-causing variant in a gene to cause the condition. For autosomal recessive disorders, we need two copies of a pathogenic variant or a disease-causing variant in the DNA to cause that condition. People who have an autosomal dominant condition have a 50-50 chance of passing that condition on to their children each time they have a child. People with autosomal recessive forms of Ehlers-Danlos syndrome will pass a single copy of their pathogenic variant onto their child, and that child will be a carrier for their condition, but will not have it unless they have also inherited a pathogenic variant from their other parent. There are 13 different types of Ehlers-Danlos syndrome. We know the genetics or 12 of those 13 types. The most common form of Ehlers-Danlos syndrome, or the hypermobile type, is the one type for which we do not yet know the underlying gene or genes. And that is also true for the hypermobility spectrum disorders. Of the 12 types that we do know the genes that cause them, the most common are the classical and vascular types, and those are both autosomal dominant conditions. The arthrochalasia, myopathic, and periodontal types are also autosomal dominant. The remaining types are all relatively rare genetically defined types of Ehlers-Danlos syndrome, and all of those are autosomal recessive. The genetically defined types can be tested for in the laboratory. Unfortunately, we still do not have a test to allow us to test for hypermobile type of Ehlers-Danlos syndrome or the hypermobility spectrum disorders.